One of the side effects of spiritual healing is that our energy will remain expanded without shrinking it back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia Savo and I help lightworkers and starseeds to remember who they are. And today I want to talk about the energy of your field being expanded, why it's important, and to give you a little few tools how to do it. Now I want you to feel into your own energy. There is energy within your physical body and it's also overreaching. It may be overreaching just a little bit or a bit more. I want you to really feel your energy body. You can close your eyes and feel it. And now imagine that you are expanding that energy in all directions around yourself as if you were creating a sphere with your own energy and allow it to grow. Allow it to become a lot bigger, to maybe fill up the room where you are or if you listen outside, let it really grow big. And find some comfortable level of expansion and now hold it, hold it expanded with your intention and your consciousness. Keep that energy expanded. Hold it. Don't let it fall back, just hold it expanded. And notice how it feels to occupy all that space. When you finally don't hold yourself small energetically, because the energy wants to naturally expand. That's what energy does. And so just feel all the spaciousness in and out of your body and hold it. Get comfortable with it. This is like one little exercise you can do as a part of your meditation. You can do it before your regular meditation or after it takes just a few minutes, expand your energy and then hold it, don't shrink it back. Now, for some of you, this will be really easy and for others, it may not be easy. When we do the inner healing, when we work with the inner child, we do the emotional healing, working with our mindset, perhaps clear, clearing our ancestral lineages, we are rooting ourselves deeper into the consciousness of 3D reality, into the consciousness of Gaia. So we are growing downwards. But at the same time, when we do the soul healing, when we meditate, when we do energetic exercises, we are expanding upward. So we are stretching simultaneously up and down. And when that happens, over time, our energy will become really light and we are able to receive more of that 5D energy and higher. That fifth dimensional energy and higher is able to run through our body because the body is now clear of all those um, obstacles that were in the way of the energy before. So the body becomes lighter. You'll feel it in your cells, your cells will become lighter. When that happens, there will be energy moving through the body with more ease. And when there is that ease, and also trust and feeling safe in your body and being equally connected to the lower chakras and to all parts of your body, then your energetic field starts growing in all directions. It starts expanding. And let me tell you that there are no limitations to how big the energy field can grow. No limitations to it at all. If I think about it right now, we are on this beautiful planet and we are within the energetic body of Gaia. Think how huge that energetic body is. Now imagine that you could um, keep your energetic body growing and hold it and it wouldn't be bouncing back. The reason it, it may be bouncing back, why you sometimes feel open energetically and then you contract, is because there is still some kind of trauma 
in the body and it needs to be released or there may be stress that, that's inside of your cells. And so when the body doesn't have that lightness, we kind of fall back to our default system. We fall back where is our weakest energy or weakest um, consciousness, if you want. So in those moments when we are falling back, it's because we are not able to hold that open, expanded energetic field yet before clearing out still something else. And when it comes to healing, I know that many of you have been doing healing and you feel like you've done so much of it and maybe you are tired of it sometimes. But try to really grow in both directions. Do that kind of like inner healing and then also expanding upward. So we are stretching simultaneously. And this is really where that magic happens because it will stabilize your inner channel of energy, which is like channel which moves through all of the chakras, through the central part of your body, it will become very stable and you will feel more peaceful and your energy will be expanded without you trying. Now I also want to mention one more thing, I'm almost feeling like I'm already reading your thoughts that you are going to have in the future. Uh, when your energetic field is expanded, it doesn't mean that you are taking in other people's energies. Actually, it's quite the opposite because many times when we take in some unwanted energies from the environment, it's because our energetic field is already contracted and it has some holes in it. It's not like smooth, but when it's smooth and strong and like you are literally filled up with that light and your own energy, there is no space for anything external. So it's also the best protection, energetically speaking, because you, there is no space to take in anything because your energetic field is beautiful, shiny, and there are no holes in it. But on the other hand, when we are contracted, this is when we are attracting unwanted energies. So it is safe to feel expanded in your energy. But during that process, you may be guided to some kind of healing, working with the body as well, energetically, helping the body to release everything that has been stored there from your life or even different lifetimes or even from your ancestors. There are many things that can be stored in the body. It also needs to happen while also stretching up there. But even this little tiny exercise, like expanding your energetic field in all directions and then holding it, and getting comfortable with it. And you kind of want to center it in solar plexus, in the third chakra. There you are like holding, anchoring that feel. You are not moving anywhere. You are still where you are. It's just the energy that's expanded and it's being anchored in your solar plexus. Practice this and notice how it feels. And if you expand it just a little bit for the first time, it's great. Hold that a little bit that you can expand. And eventually you'll be able to expand more and more. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments below how does it feel when you expand your energy and maybe if you have some tips that helps your energetic field to stay open and expand it. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time.